Hi, my name is Ilma and today I'd like to share Psalm 35, 17 to 24. Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue my soul from their ravages, my only life from the lions. I will give you thanks in the great congregation. I will praise you among a mighty people. Do not let those who are wrongly my, wrongfully my enemies rejoice over me, nor let those who hate me for no reason wink maliciously. For they do not speak peace, but they devise deceitful words against those who are quiet in the land. They open their mouth wide against me. They said, Aha, aha, our eyes have seen it. They said, you have seen it, Lord, do not keep silent. Lord, do not be far from me. Steer yourself and awake to my right and to cause my God and my Lord. Judge me, Lord my God, according to your righteousness and do not let them rejoice over me. Here's my devotional. Do not let my enemies rejoice over me. In this psalm, we hear David asking God to vindicate him from his enemies. It sounded like he was confronting God to take action and not have a passive stand on what is going on in his life. In verse 17, he mentions lions, which probably represents the fears he was facing and how fierce his enemies were at eating him up with fear. In verse 18, he faithfully promises God that he will thank him publicly and among his people. In verse 19, we hear David confidently requesting God to not allow his enemies to mock and make fun of him, nor any of those who plot evil against him triumph over him. In verse 20, he exposes further what this evil people do. They destroy peace and seek conflict amongst those who are God's people. Verse 21 further declares what was done to him. They have seen his weaknesses and exposed it. In verse 22, David kept pleading God not to be silent anymore and to come to his rescue. In verses 23 to 24, he confidently called on God to defend him and to examine him according to his righteousness, reminding God to not allow the enemy to trample on, them, on him. Reflection. Why is it important to come to God to defend us? Why can't we fight on our own? Well, the purpose of our life is to give glory to God. It's not to give glory to ourselves. So when there comes a time when we have conflict or um, something pressing on against us, um, our natural tendency is to take care of our own selves. But that is not what God made us to be. God made us to depend on Him. God made everything so that we could be um, running to Him all the time, just like David does. And that uh, we, just like our parents, we don't go when we are little, we don't go to fight these people who we are weak against for. So what we do is we run to our mom and dad and to tell our mom and dad what happened. So that's how God wants us to respond whenever we need protection, we need provision, we need anything in our lives to run to Him because He is our perfect parent, that He will give us everything that we need and that He will protect us from anything that might crush us down. So in this verse, um, David confidently asks God, to not let the enemy triumph and rejoice and gloat over their victory over him, but for God to deal with them because he knows that God will never forsake him. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks and photographs, and I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for you. Thanks for watching. God loves you so much, and so do I.